Hi guys, so <laughs> Dan and I are getting ready to go to Amsterdam in the morning and <laughs> we're only taking hand luggage. This is his wax pot for his hair <laughs> and he said, can you bring something round to put my wax in? <laughs> and I bought this. <laughs> I don't think it's funny, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I literally don't have a clue. The difference. <laughs> the difference. We're not allowed to take a lot Listen, through. Have you got 100 it. mil? There's not 100 mil in that little pot, that's a fact. No, I know. We're going for three days, not three weeks. Yeah, I've got quite a lot of hair. Let me show you your hair. I won't put it on your face. Let me show you your hair. Let me show you. I don't want it. We are off to Amsterdam in the morning, so I'm going to be vlogging for the next couple of days. Not loads of vlogging because I want it all to go in one vlog. Oh my god, is Erin asleep? I'm going to wake her up. Yeah, was asleep. Okay. A whisper, but the reason I wanted to start vlogging tonight was so whisper. that I didn't have to whisper. I whisper. I was, oh my god, you've just reminded me. I bought a, cr a crunchy earlier and I've put it in my coat pocket. I've left it in my coat pocket. Where's your coat? At my house. Yeah, where? In my room. Hmm, where about it's done now? I can't have it for three days. <laughs> She's so much chocolate. Anyway, off topic again, once again. Butters, by the way. Um, um, uh, oh, you've used it. Pass it to me. So he's given it all the big in, and he's used the pot. Dan, you will not use more than that in three days, 100%. Oh, right. We're going to get up quite early, that's why I've started tonight. I just started vlogging last night because I didn't think we'd have time this morning. But we're up and ready. I'm wearing all grey, and this one's wearing all black. fluff on your head. I'm not surprised, it's 6am. This white. spot is actually four day. No, when you go to the cinema and watch 4D films. White, white train, but white train is in a blue bag. Right, you want me to show your outfit, don't you? Right, go on. Where's jump from? ASOS. ASOS. This tracksuit cost me 12 quid. Okay. Um, your bag is from Zara, right? Your jacket. Everything is from ASOS. We're very ASOS Green gang. Damage jacket. Okay, and your shoes. We're Easy. Just... We're all part of the Easy gang. They're just by Kanye. My jumper is from Sisters and Seekers. I've got a roll neck on from Pretty Little Thing. Leggings are grey from Boohoo. And then. Right. Yeezys. Two hours, we need to go on. But yeah, we've got to go, so. I did have time to put a little bit of makeup on actually, but my hair is just not really cooperating. But it's only the airport, isn't it? We're at the airport and eating some brekkie. I got a bacon sandwich. I can't believe this is like six pound. But whatever. How much was yours? A hundred pound. Twelve. You're joking. Twelve pound. That's about three pound in the cafe at home. Yeah. Well, I love that. So um, always checking on mine, but never been this quick because we've only got um, a hand luggage bag each. Literally just strolled through. It was such a breeze, wasn't it? Yeah, much better. I didn't even get stopped at security. By the way, That's the second time where ever. Beans? Where are my beans? Where are you I? have got beans on your plate. It's so dramatic. Just it up. You got toast actually. That's the only reason I didn't get a fry up because I thought there was no toast. Oh, what's your fingers? Mmm, nice. Mm -hmm. My orange is bitty. Better than I have. Bitty. Do you remember bitty? From, um, yeah. So we're boarding in about an hour. We're very early, but better than being late and I'm sweating, literally sweating. I'm actually buzzing to be in the car. Time, time I love your glasses. Oh, thank you. They're from Kiel. So we knew the park was going to be quick, but we didn't realise it was going to be that quick. We've literally been on here for... It feels like five minutes, but we've been on here for about 20 minutes. And um, I'm feeling really oily. And the pilot has just said, prepare for landing. I'm 
excited. We're going to Anne Frank's house tonight. Oh, I'm actually really excited. I enjoyed learning about Anne Frank in school. And I actually want to go to, um, where is it? Outsvitch. Outsvitch. No, I know it's not here, but I do want to go there one day. To be fair, I said this was my first city break. I've been to Berlin, so I lied. Yeah, we'll be there shortly. I've just got to our hotel, thank god. And no joke, I feel like wherever I go, there's a problem. So um, let me take a seat so I can explain while Dan checks in. So we got in a normal cab, and I did say, like, should we look at getting an Uber? Do you want to get the train? Like, I've never been here before, so we don't know how it works. Before we got to the cab, I said, do you know how much roughly it will be? And I'm not tight, I'm not a cheapskate. But he, this guy was like, no, I'm not sure, like, it'll be on the, um, you know, the meter thing. So I was like, okay, fine. Because we, someone said to me that it'll probably be, like, 30 euros in the Uber. But I just, like, my Uber app wasn't working, so I was like, oh, let's just jump in a cab. We got in the cab for three minutes, and I, like, glanced at the meter, and it said 17. pounds. Now, number one, 17 is my lucky number, but for three minutes... Three minutes, 17 pounds, uh, 17 euros, sorry. Our journey was 25 minutes because we're staying literally like right next to the city centre. So that would have worked out like 130 euros for a taxi. Our flights weren't that expensive. I'm not cheap, but that is ridiculous. So I was literally like, sorry, is your meter right? And he he spoke perfect English before we got into the car. And he was like, well, I don't understand, I don't understand. And I was like, can you just pull over, please? It's ridiculous. I'm going to get an Uber. I'm going to make my app work. So we got him to pull over. And he had the right arm. I was like, listen, I did say roughly how much will it be. It's ridiculous. It's the principal. I'm not paying 130 euros to get to my hotel. So um, yeah, we ended up in an Uber. And... He took us the whole journey and it was 30 euros, like I thought it would be. I'm not being funny, I live like 25 minutes from London. No, I live longer than that, on the train. So I live probably, I drive 45, 50 minutes from central London once. Me and Elle, the other side of central London, we got a cab home and it cost 40 pound. So it was an hour and a half to two hour journey, it cost 40 pound. So how are you going to tell me, no, like, this, a big rant. I'm fuming, honestly I'm fuming. But yeah, we're at the hotel, actually it's really cute. Dan's still checking in, but I'll quickly show you. Really cute. We've both never been to Amsterdam, but the guys at the reception has just said we're about five, 10 minute walk from the centre. This is near the lobby and the check-in. Very cute, very artsy. Lovely decor. And um, I'll put information in the description of like where we're staying and stuff. We are in our room. Very nice and modern. The doors. What? Stop squeezing. It's found a magnified mirror already. Enough. So this is our room. Simple but effective. We're not really going to be in the room, so it doesn't matter. Damn well, at least we've got a fire. <laughs> Idiot. Hmm. Not much more to show, guys. Yay! Finally out and about on the first day. We found the first. Is this a canal? River? River canal. It's very cold, but very pretty. <laughs> oh, is that you're gonna be your new job while you're here? I'm about to get a photo right here, guys. You gotta seize every moment. Look at it now. Come on. We have done some mooching around. It is freezing. Even though they say the temperature's the same here as England, it's like bitter here. Windy and it's cold. So we've come into this little Italian restaurant. It's actually really cute. Look at the ceiling. What are there? Things. You can't just say things. But yeah, it's really dark and moody. To be honest, it's really quiet because it's nearly three o'clock and I don't think people eat till later, but obviously we haven't really eaten today. Oh, and it's Wednesday. This looks so good. What is this called again? Arabata. La Arabata. So it's like bacon, onion, onion, and like a tomato sauce with tagliatelle. And then Dan's got salami and ham. 
but we're gonna do a bit of that. We're gonna do a little bit of swap swaps. Oh, this is really cute, this restaurant. Maybe we should go on a little city break to an Italian town now. Sorry, I didn't mean to touch your feet. He gets so annoyed when my foot touches his foot. <laughs> it's because he doesn't want to dirty the Yeezys. Chill out, mate. You'll be fine. Oh. <laughs> as soon as I stop recording, don't make me off. What time's Anne Frank? Half five. We're gonna walk over to where Anne Frank is at the moment because everywhere's quite a little bit of a long walk. She's not there. Obviously not, her house. I'm excited for that, you know, I'm literally excited. Listen. But that, actually I should look at the email, I need to check what time we need to be there, if we need to take anything. Do you know what I mean? You go straight and the furious to plane is New Market and he's behind there. Oh, it's behind New Market. Okay. We are on our way to Anne Frank's house now. Did go back and quickly get a change because we've literally been in these clothes all day long. Had a quick little shower. Didn't take my makeup off because we didn't have too long. So we had to leave again. I don't know if I'm even going to be allowed to film Anne Frank's house. But we'll see what we can do. So this is the outside and then we've just done the tour up here. Which I will explain when we get back because it is pouring my frame. So we're doing a grocery shop uh, for the evening because we had lunch quite late. Kind of grocery shop reminds me of the stuff we was getting in Dubai, like so random. Especially these little bad boys. Is that enough? It's not enough. Yeah, don't eat them all. This shop is cute though, isn't it? Not too bad for a little supermarket. Oh yeah, by the way, we bought an umbrella and then the hotel offered us umbrellas to use for the day. Oh, rude. Good morning. So it's day two and I didn't actually explain what happened at Anne Frank yesterday because I wasn't allowed to take in cameras, which I expected anyway, because it's still classed as a memorial, which basically makes it, what's the word? Disrespectful. But um, yeah, it was good. One thing I didn't really like about it is that I feel like they didn't need to make it, what did we say about the downstairs? Modernised it. Like really modern at the bottom, they made it, that's just the entrance though. No, I know, but I feel like it wasn't clear when you pulled up that it was Anne Frank's house that you was getting to. I know that that makes it like more of a promotional thing, but I feel like the downstairs was really modern and they kind of, it just looked like a money spinner when I think if they'd have just left it completely how it was. I know they've got to have a reception desk and stuff to make their money, but it was very, very modern. And obviously this was like, 80 years ago when she was alive so anyway yeah it was really good so you can just look around on your own or you can pay for the it's kind of like a talk I with did. pardon you get instead of just walking around they explain to you the history first yeah so you sit in a room and there's like a big timeline on the wall which i'll insert a clip of now and you have a tour guide he's a tour guide but you don't get a tour so what's that called i don't know but he was explaining like her life and what you get to see when you walk around the house when you get up to the house it still is left how her dad wanted it to be left so otto frank he wanted there to be no furniture in he didn't want it to be made up to how it should have looked when hitler's people found them they took all the furniture so he didn't want them to put furniture back in so i think that was good how they left it but yeah it was i think it was really good i enjoyed it um it's not for everyone stuff like that but i think <coughs> it being such a popular and famous story I think it definitely is worth seeing while you're in Amsterdam also if you guys have seen the Fort in Our Stars that's where they filmed some of the Fort in Our Stars you get to go up like the really steep stairs in Anne Frank's house where um what was her name oh my god the main girl in it Shane, Shane Lee Woodley what does she play what's her name I don't know when she's struggling to get upstairs because she's got Hazel cancer Grace. Hazel Grace brilliant oh my god 10 out of 10 for you yeah so when you got upstairs i literally went oh my god dan this is when the fault in our stars like it all come back to me and that was good too we were so tired yesterday we went and had no we went to the supermarket actually which i filmed now we've just got up and we're gonna go on the the adam lookout which is a giant swing and obviously i'll film that in a sec curled my hair today thought i'd go a little bit cute it's raining again which is not cute but Let's get going, are you ready? We need to go have breakfast as well. I'm wearing 
grey jumper today from Sisters and Seekers. This is literally all I'm going to wear on this trip, I think, because they sent me some stuff just before I got here, and I'm obsessed. Then I've got some grey joggers from Pretty Little Thing, and I've got on Adidas Falcon trainers, and I'm... Oh, I'm stuck to the case. Still in two minds about whether to go back and get the Balenciagas today, because I feel like they'd go really cute, this outfit. But I don't know. We'll see. Let's go. Obviously, I've booked something that you can't get to by car. So we're on a ferry and we've just walked on it and I don't even know if you have to pay. We're done talking around like this thing can't be free. That's Amsterdam Central Station. This boat's quite quick actually. So we're going across to the giant swing which is up there. Oh god. It's going the wrong way. Oh my god. We need to get on the other one. Dan, we need to get on that one. Are you joking? <laughs> We're going to the wrong place. Oh. This is a disaster. Everywhere we've gone, it's pouring with rain. We can't read any southern posts, they're all in bloody Dutch, obviously. Oh, we're so close yet so far, I can literally see it. That is where we need to be. Up there. We're going the other way. Wow. Love life. We've finally made it to the Adam Lookout and the lighting is on real to be honest. Yeah. What's wrong? It's very cold. But um, this is the view. This is a massive window. It looks like we're just going to fall. I don't know where the swing is. Must be on the other side. But I was just saying to um, Dan that the last three places I've been, like LA, Dubai, and Amsterdam, always end up going up to like a rooftop and looking at a view. Guilty pleasure. I love looking at the views. We had to walk. So we got on a boat all the way over there and we walked all the way across when we could have got a boat like this one to there. So that was exciting. And um, we just also had a photo shoot and it was one of them ones where you got a green screen and we pretended that we're sitting on that like, rooftop and we had to pretend that we were flying. Can't wait to see them. <laughs> These are the swings we're about to go on. I guess that gate comes down. This is scary. <gasps> oh my God. Square actually, the thing is like one of the main parts of Amsterdam city, and then I did end up back in the big shop, which is a bit like Selfridges at home, like a big department store with brands in there. And I uh, might have ended up buying the Balenciaga triple S's. I've been eyeing them up for a while, to be fair. I tried them on yesterday, then walked away, had a think about it, but. I just think I'll get a lot of wear out of them. I know they're very expensive, but it is clearing up a little bit the sky, but it's still, it's just so bitter. I was on the phone to Nan earlier, and I was like, the temperature is literally the same as at home, but it's just really bitter. And also, when we was in that department store, we looked at the Tiffany stand, and there was a nice engagement ring, and it's 31,000 pound euros. Do you know how, how expensive that is? You can literally, that is a deposit for a house. And guys, random facts about Amsterdam. Their buildings are really, really thin because they used to get... <laughs> I'm literally telling everyone this fact. I rung my nan earlier and told her. <laughs> They're really thin because the wider their houses were, the more tax they had to pay on their house. So they made them really narrow, but they went really far back. Oh my God, this restaurant looks so cute. Okay, we are at a restaurant called Sumo. Someone DM'd me actually and said that these are really good and there seems to be quite a lot in Amsterdam. And it's sushi and grill, I think. We are in the prettiest restaurant. So nice. So this place is called Sumo. Let you know if it's good, but I've got this tablet and you got, you can fit for on the menu. How does it work? and you click what you want and then you order it and it comes to your table and you can have 20 items each. Excited? Yes. I knew you would be excited with this. Alright, right, let's get through then. Okay, this place has actually changed the game. So everything we've ordered from our little tablet like it wasn't going to work has just come. I'm so excited. This place is so cute. Honestly, guys, I recommend it. If you're going to Amsterdam, go to Sumo. I've not even tasted any food yet. 
we've come back to the room for a little while because both our feet's really hurt. I'm actually really proud of us today because we walked everywhere when yesterday we just got Ubers. I looked at my bank and yesterday on loads of little journeys we spent 40 euros. But um, I said I'd show you my shoes that I got today. Best chocolate milk. You literally... What's wrong? I reckon that'd fit me. There was a size four. Dan, you dare. Give it back now. Not funny. Give it back. I won't give you the chocolate milk. Right. <gasps> okay, so these are the trainers that I got today. They are so cute. So I, I kind of wanted the original white and beige ones, but these clear sole ones are slightly newer and they're easier to get hold of because they're out now whereas the other ones I would have had to source oh my god I love them so excited buzzing it's got a lot of sugar in it got a lot of sugar in it I'm not surprised so we might go back out in a little while and I just want to go for a walk along like the canal and stuff when it's all lit up and dark and I just think the atmosphere will be cute and then we can get maybe a pancake hon do you want to love a pillow no I've got enough and then that's day two complete. This trip has been walking, walking, walking. I don't know how exciting this vlog will be because to be fair, we've come away to chill. We don't get to spend much time together in the week because Dan works and then plays football, then works, plays football, works, plays football and sleeps. I think I've just gone to heaven. Is this a joke? Oh my god. Cheesecake factory, eat your heart out. I think I just died. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh my god, the waffles. In the covered waffles. Oh, finally, I've waited days for this. Wow. Yes, please. Well, <laughs> this is 10 euros. It better taste unreal. And when she said sugar, I thought she'd literally go like two little sprinkles. She literally coated the whole thing. So, thanks, hon. And cheers. You wasn't cheersing me, was you? <laughs> Idiot. Day three. Super cold out today. So, got lots of layers on, and I've zoomed right into my face. Come on. Dan's tired today. Shouldn't have gone to sleep late. We're out early today because we're leaving this evening. It's 10 o'clock. More well, early. <laughs> I bet some people got up so early. But uh, yesterday we didn't get out till about 11. I really want to go on a bike today. So we'll see what the weather's saying. From our room we could see those blue skies, but because the building's really tall here, you can't really see. There's clouds beyond. So we're going to go down and have a look. Friends, when I was in primary school, Sophia has recommended it's called Renee's Croissant, and it looks unreal. I'm going to show you. I think we're going to get some breakfast here, and then we'll have a big lunch before we go. Literally, I feel like all I've done in this vlog is show food, but it is a journey. What are you going to get? I'm thirsty, that's what I am. This one's my one, and then Dan, to be fair, I was going to get that one, but I'm glad this one gets melted. Yay! I'm so exciting! Right, so our last few hours we are spending in a homeware shop. Dan's found a pan that he's trying to, like, I think he's going to end up leaving some clothes here to fit the pan into the suitcase. This is decent. But, it's like a fish pan, obviously, to shape, but... What? But I... I just don't understand. It's just sick, isn't it? But we have pans in Tesco. Yeah, but they don't do shit. I've not seen shit like this in England. This must be a Dutch pan. Um, okay then. <laughs> I'd understand a bit more if we um, had our own place. We don't. As you can tell, we're very different. No. I, well, my choice of shops was the shop where I got my Balenciagas. Dan likes where we can get stuff for the house that we don't own. No. What is wrong with you? <laughs> right, come on, let's go. 
Let's go. Oh my goodness. So we took a trip to where the Van Gogh Museum is. And it was fully booked. And I'm really annoyed. Gonna have to come back to Amsterdam at some point. We're having our last food. The last bit of food before we go to the airport. I've got steak and chips. Dan's got bolognese. And after this we're gonna have to start making Jack's back. Ah, just go really quick. There's only one way to finish the trip. It would be rude not to. And um, we've just had food, loads of food, and Dan's got chips. Mm, look at that. Oh my God, come to mama. <laughs> For anyone wondering, this is the hotel that we stayed at, and it is literally like you walk that way and then that way, and you're in the center. But it is time to get into our Uber. We're not making the same mistake and getting a taxi. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. <sighs> yeah, it's they don't deserve to go in the case. They're too beautiful. <laughs> You're doing great, sweetie. See you later, hotel. Ah, I'm finally home. I say that like I'm glad to be home. And after traveling, I am, obviously I'm glad to be back home, but I don't know. I had a really good time. I did really enjoy Amsterdam. I enjoyed our little getaway. So we in total we was there for almost three full days. And I feel like it was a really good amount of time. The only things that we didn't get to do is I literally said this on the flight home. People said to go to the supper club. Completely forgot about that. I really wanted to go to the Van Gogh Museum. That's not for everyone, but I studied art at um college and I don't know, I'm a little geek when it comes to stuff like that. So when we got there today, to be fair, leaving it to the last day wasn't the smartest of plans when I got there today and it was sold out. It's just one of them things, my own fault. But I feel like it's a good reason to maybe go back. All in all, I think Amsterdam is beautiful. I would actually like to go there when it's a little bit warmer just because I don't deal with the cold too well. And instead of like walking on thinking, get warm, get warm, I'd rather be taking it in more, even though... I still did take it in. It's really pretty. I don't get the hype when people are like, oh my God, I want to live there. Oh my God, I go four times a year. I do, this is me being honest. I think that is for people that like to go and like smoke weed, like get high. They're into like the red light district and stuff. And personally, that is not me at all. Um, we went to like view the city to oh that's what i didn't do as well we didn't ride bikes but it did rain 99 percent of the time we were there the last day today it was sunny and it was really nice but again we just wanted to go like do some like, last bits so bikes wasn't really on the top of our list so i think i would go back not in a big hurry because i think there's so many other places to go unless you're literally in love with somewhere which kind of contradicts myself because I go to Lanzarote every summer. But that's because that's like a tradition from when I was younger. But with city breaks, there's so many places I want to visit. But I would definitely say if you've not been to Amsterdam, it is worth going to. Elle and I are off to Paris next week. So I'll be vlogging that. We will be vlogging that. I'm sorry if this vlog wasn't too exciting. I know it's not that exciting. Thank you guys for watching. And I love you. I'll see you soon. We'll see you in our next video. Don't forget to subscribe, you know you gotta, and hit that like button.